Hey, this is Alex from the Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast. To see more videos like this from the Good Old Boys, hit subscribe and support this independent podcast. C.J. Stroud, they drafted him round one, pick two, out of Ohio State. C.J. Stroud, thoughts? Uh, Dynasty, I think he's he's worth second quarterback off the board in Dynasty behind where I would have Anthony Richardson. Um, Redraft-wise, single quarterback leagues, I'm not touching him. Uh, super flex leagues. Uh, he's honestly, if it's anything like these super flex drafts that Derek and I have done, he's going far too early, far too early. Like he is going to finish quarterback 25 to 27. And, and there's a little bit of upside potential if he uses his legs, but he didn't really do that at Ohio state. Um, not that he can't, he just didn't. So I'm going to want to see it before I, truly buy into his ability to use his legs or if he's going to sit back and and just let it rip now he has the arm to do it right we saw what he did against a good i won't say that 2022's george's defense was great compared to 21 but they were still a good defense and he lit them up in the semifinals right like that was the game of damn near the decade in that Ohio State Georgia game, and CJ Stroud went toe to toe with everything that Georgia had. And if it wasn't for an untimely injury to his best receiver on the field, since JSN didn't play, um, there there is a good chance Ohio State would have been your national champions and not Georgia. Everything that Kevin just said, I will reiterate. Uh, like I totally co-sign. I need to see it first. Uh, I'm not going to you know, invest that much um, that early for a redraft. Um, but for Dynasty, certainly, certainly is um, a very intriguing prospect. Um, and Derek, I don't want to steal your thunder here, but I will I will play a game with you guys um, with as we sit right now, some of the quarterbacks that are kind of around CJ Stroud. Uh, you let me know if you would rather have them or CJ Stroud, because I think there are some some choices to be made uh, at this point. So uh, I'll give you Jimmy Garoppolo in Las Vegas. Jimmy, Jimmy. Oof. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a, probably, it's a wolf, probably Jimmy. 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 Probably yeah. Jimmy. Uh, Mac Jones. Give me Mac Jones. I think I take Stroud over Jones. Okay. Trey Lance. Nope, pass. You'd rather have Stroud. I don't want the second string quarterback in San Francisco. That's fair. Yeah. Go sign. Okay. That, but like, oh, and then I'll give you Ryan Tannehill is is kind of ranked right below uh, CJ Stroud right now. I'd probably take Tannehill. I'd also probably take the next guy in Ritter. In Ritter. Yeah. yeah. But that, I mean, that, so like, th- think about that though. Like, that's, that, I know it's early. But those are the types of quarterbacks that you're going around. And if you are seeing, you know, CJ Stroud in a redraft league go before those guys, power to the people that are taking him. If he had better weapons, I think I'd move him higher up as a rookie. Like right. exactly. I just don't I just don't love it. I like Nico well enough. I, I like Dalton Schultz, but I just don't and Damian Pierce, but I just don't like anything else that they have down there yet. I understand what they're doing. They're building defense first. Honestly, they're trying to build inside out. Yep. I understand it. It's the right way to build an NFL team. It is kind of pukerama for fantasy purposes, though. Uh, you just saw how much how how much or little time, depending upon how you look at that across six receivers there for the uh, for the Houston Texans because, yeah. So I, I think C.J. Stroud is going to have a tough go of it uh, rookie season. 